What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Collectibles, DC Universe animated movie, Justice League War, Green Lantern figure. Um, this is the Hell Jordan Green Lantern, obviously. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, I would suggest checking it out. It's definitely a fun, fun movie to watch. Um, this is figure three in the wave. Um, so far I have... Um, uh, this guy and I ha also have uh, Shazam so if you haven't checked out the Shazam uh, Review and you would like to I'll leave it in the description box below so you can just click on the link uh, On the side here Excuse me. I just like ate dinner. So I'm like <laughs> Apologize for the burp anyway uh, We have a picture of Hal Jordan on the side here It says DC collectibles yada 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 On the back you have the rest of the figures in the wave as you can see, we have, uh, oh, that's making an annoying sound. Uh, we have <laughs> uh, Wonder Woman, Shazam, we have, uh, sorry, I'll just pick this up, uh, Superman, The Flash, and Green Lantern, obviously, right here. Uh, I'll probably be picking up the rest of this wave, including the Son of Batman, um, Batman, obviously, and uh, Damien, whenever they come out, to uh, kind of complete the... Um, the whole team. So anyway, um, let's get uh, Green Lantern out of packaging and take a closer look at Hal Jordan. Okay, and we're back with Hal out of packaging and um, it looks pretty good. Um, I mean, he's, um, I believe he might be on a different body than Shazam. I could be mistaken. I'll, I'll do a size comparison with the two in a minute, but um, as far as uh, the naked eye, getting him out of package, getting him in hand, um, he's mostly just painted. There's not a lot of sculpting going on with him. Um, the ring isn't even sculpted, which I find very odd, considering that Mattel always had, always had their ring sculpted, and even most of the DC collectibles, um, Green Lanterns, had their ring sculpted. But this guy is just painted, and it's painted kind of poorly. To be honest with you, it doesn't even look like a Green Lantern ring. It just looks like there's a square on his finger. So that's very poorly done, to be honest with you. Um, I don't really have a problem with paint slop. There's some, like, just dust on him. He's very, a very dusty figure. Um, I feel as if the paint isn't as well done with this guy as it was with Shazam, to be honest with you. I feel like it's going to eventually... Uh, chip over time and, and flake off. I don't know. I just get a, 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 the the feeling. You know when you touch paint and it kind of feels just cheap, like it's not going to last. Um, I get that feeling with this guy for some reason. I don't know. Overall, aesthetically, from just his overall look, I mean, he looks nice. He looks uh, appealing to the eye. Um, and I'll also do the... Uh, hold on. You know what? I'm going to do this test right now to show everybody that he's not really glow in the dark. So I'm gonna turn all of my lights off here. So, I mean, all the lights are off and you can, my camera's trying to focus. He doesn't really glow in the dark at all, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe a little bit, Shazam didn't at all. Um, I put him in the dark and I'm sorry I didn't include that, but um, and it's still daylight and I have some daylight coming in here. I also have my monitor behind me. On. So there's a little bit of light still in here, but he doesn't really glow in the dark. None of these figures I have a feeling really do um, So I'm just turn my lights back on here. Sorry for the uh, <laughs> Crazy uh, transitional for your <laughs> transition for you guys eyes, but um Yeah, he does so he doesn't really glow in the dark. I'm not really sure why they wanted to include that feature I'm not sure if it cost him extra to put glow in the dark paint on him um, they could have just done without that, put some white lines on him, and called it a day. I didn't really need this, to be honest with you. I would preferred if they put more money into a little bit more articulation. I mean, he doesn't even have a wrist swivel. None of these figures have a wrist swivel, which I was kind of confused on last time. Because um, Shazam looked like he had a wrist swivel, but he didn't, so I didn't mess with it really. Um, and thank you, Stu Murray, for pointing that out. I appreciate that, um, clearing that up for me. Uh, but as far as his articulation goes, his head does move side to side. It doesn't really want to look up, and it really sucks, especially because you can't get him into a flying pose at all. Um, looking up, he doesn't doesn't want to. But he looks down, 
which is odd. So it is on a, his head is on a ball peg, um, which is, I mean, uh, at least a flying character should be able to look up somewhat. He can't, it's just basically eye level. So that's that's not the best. Um, he does have this nice tilt effect in his head, though, so you can get a little bit more of a uh, expression out of him. Um, his arms do go up about this far, and guys, be careful. There are clear pegs in these uh, in his hips, and going across, there's a clear peg bar going across his arm. Uh, so his arms go up about that far, and he does, ha and they do go down. They can do a full 360. Um, he does have a bicep swivel and an elbow swivel. Um, like I said, again, pretty redundant here with the elbow swivel and a bicep swivel. I would have preferred they give you a wrist swivel without the elbow swivel and just keep the bicep swivel. It would have made more sense to me. But he does have a single bend. It goes just mm, no, a little under. 90 degrees, so not quite 90 degrees. Um, no wrist articulation at all. He's got no waist articulation, no ab crunch. Um, he's got these T-joint hips, which I really am trying to be careful with, but he does actually have a decent split to him, I guess. Um, but Green Lantern doesn't really throw any kicks, so <laughs> not sure if you're gonna really need that. Um, his legs do go forward and they do go back a touch, not too much though. Um, that's pr pretty much it. Uh, he's got a single bend at the knee, and that's it. No ankle articulation at all. And this, I feel like uh, these figures, I mean, I spent $21 on this figure. I expect a little bit more out of them. Um, not asking too much. Uh, an ankle hinge uh, or a thigh swivel. And I know I brought this up with Shazam in my Shazam review, but I think this figure really needs, he needs certain points of articulation. Um, we don't need the the elbow swivel, we need the wrist swivel, we need the thigh swivel, we need uh, an ankle hinge or an ankle pivot. I mean, he already gave us pivots in the other figures, you might as well do it for these. Um, so, I mean, these guys are a little bit more statue-esque, if you want to go that route and say that. Um, they don't have a ton of articulation, they're lacking. and. Uh, in 2014, I would expect a little bit more articulation out of him. Not asking the world, not asking for a Marvel Legend, just a little bit more articulation would have made him a lot better. But overall, his look-wise, it, it's a very nice, appealing look for his animated look. I do like it. He's He's got a nice, structured frame. Um, he doesn't look odd in, in places. Maybe he's a little skinny. If I had to point one thing out, if I had to give a negative remark about something, maybe his frame, he's a little bit too skinny, but I don't really mind it. It doesn't bother me too much. The boots are just painted on, and the, the New 52 lines, that's what they were really going for with the, uh, the glow-in-the-dark um, uh, look for him, the figure. But uh, overall, I do like the head sculpt. The head sculpt is the the most sculpted piece of the entire figure. The hair is sculpted, the mask is even sculpted. It looks pretty good. Um, I've seen some other reviews where um, the paint is really off on the, the mask, but mine looks pretty well done. Don't have a big problem there. Um, obviously he's got this like uh, animated look hair. So it doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, would I recommend this figure? For $21, I don't know. I, I think this is around like a $15 to $17 range figure. Um, I, I don't really see where they get off, you know. I know most of their figures run around, the, you know, the $20 to $25 range coming out of the gate, but I don't know. For this figure, with lacking the articulation, I would have liked a little bit more or for pay a little bit less. So that's just me, that's my opinion. I still like the figure, I'm still glad to have him. I'm, I am gonna get the rest of the, the figures in the wave because I already have two, I might as well get the other three. And um, well, I'll, that way I'll have a nice animated Justice League, which we haven't really had in a while. So uh, we haven't really had animated action figures in a while. So overall, I mean, would I recommend this figure? I would say no, don't go out of your way to get him. Um, I would say the Shazam figure is a little bit better than him, but I think right now he's a he's probably a close second in the wave just from what I've seen so far. 
Um, I do like this guy, and um, yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it up to you. I'm not gonna recommend him, I'm not gonna not recommend him, but personal preference, if you're a Green Lantern fan, I would say you would want, you probably wanna get him, but that's just me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Actually, you know what? Let me pause real quick. I'm sorry, I didn't do this, uh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I was about to do my outro and I totally forgot. I will do a size comparison with Shazam. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I'm, so, I'm glad I caught myself before I forgot. Um, but here is your comparison here. Um, I believe he has a little bit of a different torso than he does. I could be mistaken, but just from an eye's point of view, um, I'm pretty sure that he's a little bit more buff. He's a little bit thinner. Uh, obviously, I think the uh, the biceps are also a little bit different. Um, he's got a little, he's a little bit of a smaller frame. Um, as far as the thighs, though, I think the thighs are actually they're different thighs too. Um, he's got a line going down here. He has no line. Um, so there you go. There are your differences between the two. Um, right now, I would say that he's my favorite of the wave, and then I would say he's a close second, but I haven't reviewed the rest of the wave. So with that being said, let now I'll do my intro. <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys on the flip side.